the mood tool is where you can add a stylized color effect to your photos. What this tool is doing is you are able to add a LUT file or a cube file to your image, which has a bunch of data in it on color and tone, and then it just applies that to your photo. This is a great option and a great tool to use if you already have a whole bunch of LUT files that you want to use on your photos. Let's go ahead and jump into the tool so you can see how it works. In order to actually apply one of these styles, you'll want to use this Choose LUT dropdown. Once you click on it, you have the option to either uh, add one of the pre-installed ones here, and there's quite a few of them. So you can just click one. Let me kind of scroll down so you can see what they all look like. And of course, you just want to probably play with these and um, just kind of get a feel for them on your own. So I'll go ahead and add one. And by default, the amount is set pretty low. So it's adding a pretty subtle effect. I like to really see what the full intensity of the LUT files do. So I like to take this amount slider and push it all the way to the right. Now, if I toggle this off and on, you can really see what that effect is doing. You also have the option to add your own LUT file. You can't actually add them to this drop-down list, but if you go up to the very top of this pop-up menu, you can actually click the load custom LUT file, navigate to the one you want to apply and add that. And I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, another thing you can do is select the download new LUT files. That takes you over to Skylam's website so you can purchase more LUT files to add to your photos. For now, I'm going to use the load custom LUT file. I'm going to access uh, one of the teal and orange looks that I've created myself. I'll go ahead and double click one of those. And if I toggle this off and on, you can see it's making a pretty good intense effect, um, but it looks pretty natural still. There are a few other sliders that you can work with at the bottom, contrast and saturation. Now these are going to affect the image and not the LUT. So if I increase the contrast, it's increasing the contrast of my image and then the LUT is being applied on top of that. There's also a slider for saturation. Again, this is going to increase or decrease the saturation of my image. It will change how that LUT affects it. But if I were to move that saturation slider all the way to the left, now I basically have um, an image that's black and white with a really nice color toning effect to it. And I'll toggle this off and on so you can really see what that's doing. Once I have all of these settings in place, I can actually go through and see what other LUTs will look like with these exact same settings. So if I was going for a black and white type of a look with just a colorized effect, Maybe there's one in here that has a better color look than others, so I can kind of play around with it that way.